Oh yes, so the 300L, we've been doing a lot of good project stuff here to it. We set it up for supermoto, adventure stuff, obviously dual sports stuff. Here we are to do what's probably gonna be the hardest thing, enduro. It's not an enduro bike, it's heavy. Am I right, Chris? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. This is Red River Off-Road Park. Chris, how, how many, do you remember how many miles worth of trails they estimate it to be? No, but it's 2,500 acres. 2,500 acres. They used to do Red Bull Last Man Standing out here. Many of pros come here to, to practice and ride. What they boast is the most varied terrain in Texas. Yeah. Redhead Matt over here, Chris. Me. Me and Chris are both on red 300s. There's no difference. Gas Gas 300, Honda 300, both red. We'll probably accidentally get on each other's bikes when we're not paying close attention. I got putting up here, get a little heat in it. Should be a fun day. Come on, boys, let's go. Look at us all wearing the same jerseys. Well, Matt, Matt, Matt didn't come to Thailand with us. This is our Thailand jerseys. We went to Thailand once upon a time. I hit a dog, it was cute. So we got a Gas Gas 300 EX 500 or what not yet was it 500 FE? Listen, I'm dyslexic, man. I don't know. And me on the 300, woo! the least power, the most weight. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm breathing hard now, boys. The red 300 is leading the way. Woo! <laughs> so far, we're doing great. Let's show you what we got over here. We got Texas right here. And that's the rest of America over there. We try to get us some shots. Go full landscape, Chris, 16 by nine. Yeah, that'll give you the big, that's a, that's a thumbnail angle, Chris. Go and with the bikes off to the side to give you room for your text. Dang, dude, you say you're retired. That is pro level. <laughs> On that hole. Ah. Ah. Don't hit me in the Hear them. I just cannot see them. Where the hell are you guys? See another way around. There's like a hundred ways around out here. You alright? So Matt said he has some kind of topple over there and he doesn't feel great now. So. I mean, he says he's okay, but you, you, what's it like when you ask somebody, hey, are you okay? And they're like, hmm, <laughs> what the f does that mean? <laughs> I think I hit a rock. Shots of Matt here riding. He's still getting used to this thing. I don't think it helps that he just had a little a little down here. Yeah. But it don't matter. It's not a race, man. We're all just trying to have fun. Don't bring your ego, bring smiles. Like some stupid you put on a, like a poster and put in your kid's classroom, you know. <laughs> now he'd do himself a favor. Stand up. Like that. See how much better it was when I stood up? Hey, it automatically put the hazards on for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Jake. I'll wait for you to help me with it. I was like, no, I'm just gonna wait. Two, One, two, three. Easy peasy. I'm gonna come backwards. Okay, I got you. Hey, at least I crashed the opposite of the camera. Oh, worse for the wear. She's a dirt bike. <laughs> Dude, I went like, I went to go left, the bike went right, and I went over the handlebars. Oh, when you crashed? Oh yeah, I took it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that bit my brake. We gotta bend it back out. It's actually pressed into the oil right now. If we keep riding like that, I'm gonna tear it open. I don't know, Chris. Here, bend it like a pinch more. I can make that work though. That'll work. Am I filming? I just fixed the shit out of that. Took my vice grip hands and that's actually exactly how he wants it. Yeah, I like that little upward uh, oof in it. That's how the pros do it. Keeps your legs tight into the bike. Oh God, this brake. <laughs> the minute I go to touch it, I'm already on it. I have to keep my foot to the side, which is, uh, I don't like doing that at all. <laughs> Get back to the truck, easy fix. If you think rear brake, it's on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's, it. that's the move really right long. there. That's some advanced thinking. How to cut that out. Oh. Look at my old foot on there. Does that look good? Oh man, that, that is really good there. Look at that action. Woo! I just try to stay upright. This was part of the. Oh, I get it. Like trail side repair. Yeah, yeah. Film series. I did this. I actually crashed on purpose so we would show that it's fixable. You know, a couple tools, no big deal. Easy Great squeaky. budget bike. Great budget bike. <laughs> <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, why did it stall? Random. Clutch pulled in, random stall there. Stalling. See right there, it wants to die. See right there? There it goes again. 
trying to, it's trying to stall out. Let's see if I hear anything. No, it didn't go. I know it's got a charcoal canister. It smells like fuel to me heavy though right now. I'm sitting at 205 water temperature. That's not that hot. I don't know. It's weird. I'm kind of thinking because I'm getting this really gassy smell. The bike spent some time on its side. It still has the uh, charcoal canister on it right now. So we're half wondering if it's something to do with that. I fell over a few minutes ago and I've been riding. You'd think it would like evaporate it out or done something. I don't know where they went. I might have gone this way. I don't think I went the right way. Go back to the truck. This thing's acting very weird. Surging. See that? Ooh. I had a number of reserves about bringing this thing out to a real off-road park, but none of them were because of the engine possibly stalling a bunch and acting really weird. You hear it? It's like. Come on, Honda. This is not. This is not the place you're supposed to have a problem. Weird how it's behaving. How a water breaks, think about it. I've been chilling out here. The boys found me. Um, what am I doing? We ate some sandwiches here. I got back here, it's set for like five minutes. I yanked the hoses out going into the thing. Nothing came out of them. Started up, it seemed normal. Chris wrote it, it seemed normal. I don't know. I hate problems like that where you don't have a definitive answer to. We will uh, just carry on, I guess. Yeah, it seems... Seems normal so far. We're gonna get down here on the beach. Very loose sand half the time. Usually you could just ride in this thing easy, but... The word on the street is it's more like quicksandy than normal. on the tricky as best to stay moving, but I didn't know which way we are going to go. <laughs> there we go, get a little more speed, you can relax. This was the thing I was most concerned with coming out here was, what's this thing going to do in the deep sand? It is heavy, relatively speaking, and be afraid to pin it and it'll do all right i think that four up rear sprocket's helping i was going to do any more gearing though i think i'd have to go to a 13 front because the 44 is almost touching the chain guide right now it's <laughs> it's a tight fit in there Slick. That bike seems happy now. I uh, I wish I could definitively say it was the charcoal canister. Mm -hmm. Maybe it needed just some time to dry out. you take your 300 to a park is it just going to be a big burden yes you can take it to an off-road park and no it's fun have a good time i should say this though 
you can do this with some mods. <laughs> Don't take your stock 300 and try to do this. Suspension and tires at minimum. Maybe remove the charcoal canister. It's probably, probably would help. Oh, skid plate. <laughs> Put it to use. <laughs> no motorcycles. We gotta get out of here. Holy! Gas gases, cheap Tonda. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a big one! <laughs> oh, yeah. Now my socks are properly wet. All my muscles hurt. I'm kind of tired. That was a good time though. <laughs> I'm old and I'm tired. What's with Bill's Woods, by the way? What's going on with that? Because you were here, what, a few weeks ago or a month ago? It's 17 miles of single track. I know. Is there something wrong with it though? You were saying something earlier. It's blown out or something. I was saying the first couple miles are like everybody does the first couple miles. There's a motorcycle shaped rut through the first two miles. <laughs> basically how it is 20 foot mud holes every 20 feet 300 there it is it will make you sweat a little more than normal but i mean realistically at the end of the day it's it's fine i think if you have one of these and you want to do enduro throw some tires on it and do suspension i don't see any problems with it what, what do you what's your take on that yeah i mean if you want one bike to do all the things yeah that's the one to get listen for if you're a jake fan pay a dollar a dollar. You can you can set it to where it's a dollar, and and then you support Jake, and YouTube doesn't get any of that, and then you get to see the longer video where I say f words a lot, and it's everybody's having a really great time. Sometimes I'll watch the Patreon video, and then like a couple weeks later, or a week later, or a couple days later, I don't know. It's later when it comes out on YouTube, and I watch it. I'm like, that's stupid. <laughs> the other one was so much better. It's like, and, and then like another we, thing you we, can do. And I totally don't do this, but you could take the Patreon link and send it to all your cool friends. <laughs> I, I, you know, someone said one time to me, they said it's like trying to watch Total Recall on TBS. What the f did I do wrong? <laughs> we don't do any more riding. It's been fun. So, say something inspiring, Matt. Uh, don't go over the handlebars. Stay on your bike. Solid advice uh, for marriages and riding. 